Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Antec Signature 850 watt power supply. What's included is a user's manual, detailed test report, modular leads, power cable, four screws for mounting the power supply in the case, and the power supply. The Antec Signature line of power supplies are currently available in two wattages, 650 and 850. These power supplies have enough power for most high-end computer systems. I'm looking at the 850 model today. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand that, you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well-regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use. And there are essentially two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case, the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 160 watts and the 12 volt is 780 watts, which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. Also some might be interested to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt and the plus 5 volt rails are 25 amps each and there are four plus 12 volt rails. The first two are 22 amps each and the other two are 25 amps each with a max load of 65 amps. Please note that a single plus 12 volt rail is preferred in a multiple video card setup. There are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first one is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. If however you are going hardcore and have a multiple video card setup, with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's above 800 watts. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. This power supply has an 82% efficiency at all loads. Note that this power supply is 80 plus bronze certified as well as NVIDIA SLI certified. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has a PFC. A PFC or active power factor correction is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. A PFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, this power supply has a PFC. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Let's have a closer look at this power supply. It comes with a black matte paint finish and one quiet 80 millimeter fan so it will fit in just about any ATX case. The 80 millimeter pulse width modulation fan runs up to 50% quieter than standard fans because the speed of the fan is controlled by the load on the power supply. There's also lots of ventilation to ensure that this power supply will remain cool in almost any environment. This power supply also has a dual density printed circuit board layout which provides better airflow, reduces electronic noise and allows heavier high quality components to be installed on the inside. It actually uses the best quality Japanese fan and capacitors that ensures long term reliability. Here's the power switch and the power cable connection. This power supply has lots of leads. Most are hardwired into the power supply and can't be removed. While this power supply doesn't have all modular leads, most of the required ones are already installed. There are four connectors on this power supply for modular leads. The two plus 12 volt connectors are for the Molux, Floppy and Serial ATA leads and the plus 12 volt three and plus 12 volt four connectors are for the 8-pin PCI Express video card leads. These modular leads can be easily attached or removed which is very convenient because you only need to use the lead necessary for your setup. Also, all the leads are sleeved and this reduces the cable mess inside the case and will improve airflow. Finally, have a listen to the 80mm fan.
If you're in the market for a very high-end power supply for a very hardcore computer system, well, check this power supply out. It performs exceptionally well and is super quiet. But all the leads are not modular and it doesn't come with a single plus 12 volt rail. But overall, this is a kick-ass product. Until next time, take care.